Law enforcement on the high seas, in U.S. territorial and international waters, falls within the purview of the U.S. Coast Guard. It's actually been part of their mission since day one. And today, stopping the flow of illegal drugs and migrants, even protecting living marine resources, are crucial responsibilities of this relatively small agency. Starting in 1790, when we were first formed as the Revenue Cutter Service, we were a law enforcement agency. We have always been a law enforcement agency. Coast Guard crew members performing law enforcement activities are first trained as boarding team members at one of two training centers, including this one in Petaluma, California. The objective of this two-week training program is to give Coasties an understanding of the big picture of boarding an unknown vessel, especially when the purpose of the boarding is to enforce federal laws. Okay, now rotate it across. Okay, handshake the fingers. Training consists of classroom, defensive tactic skills, and mock boardings. In defensive tactics, the students learn when to apply different levels of force. From using communication skills to physically subduing active resistors, students must take command of each situation. Get your arms out to your side now. With the full contact exercises we do in the gym, again, what we're trying to do is get the students to understand that, first of all, the, the techniques or the, the moves that they're learning work. If, uh, if it's confrontation, how to put them down. You're going to have to put them down and finish it up. And the finish up to that is to cuff them up and get them completely compliant. <sighs> Just like that, Get down! The highest level of force is deadly force. Students work with the FATS system, firearms training simulator, to learn when and how to take lethal action against attackers. Depending on how the student shoots or doesn't shoot during a scenario can determine the outcome of the scenario. The student may shoot and miss, the guy may get up and run. All right, now you're backing her up as she tech checks out this truck. Get out, get out, put it down. If they can actually project, mentally project themselves into the screen and become part of the scenario, Sorry, I believe they really bring side. something worthwhile out. out of it with them, something they can keep and use. Real good job getting your finger off that trigger. Good judgment. In mock boardings, the situations start out low key and become intense. Go to the front of the boat, stand on the boat, remain there for the Jesus Christ, what is the matter with you? I don't need any trouble from these guys. Over the course of the two weeks, we will gradually increase the stress and the difficulty of the boardings. We'll start throwing in some possible criminal violations, uh, narcotic smuggling, for example, or people with arrest warrants that we deal with from time to time, um, and how to handle those kind of more dangerous situations. Once trained to be boarding team members, they can later be trained as a boarding officer by taking a five-week course that teaches the skills and knowledge necessary to lead a Coast Guard boarding team. Much of the same subjects are taught, but at a different level, as the boarding officer must guide the rest of the team, ensuring proper legal procedures, search, arrest, and evidence handling. 